Welcome back. In this video, I'll teach you everything that you need to know about the ECG changes associated with hypothermia. We start experiencing hypothermia when our temperature drops below 35 degrees Celsius. The effects start reaching the heart when the temperature drops below 32 degrees. In the ECG, you will see many movement artifacts, and this is related to shivering. You will also see the characteristic J wave, also known as the Osborne wave. And there will be a generalized prolongation of the waves. So the P wave, the QRS complexes, and everything else will be looking as if it was stretched. Hyperthermia can be caused by anything that would cause drop of the temperature, mainly cold weather or cold water. The symptoms are not related to the heart per se, but mainly to the symptoms generalized by hypothermia, like shivering, exhaustion, confusion, feeling some bumps or goosebumps all around, some memory loss depending on the degree, and sometimes slurred speech. So the symptoms that we see normally with hypothermia. Whenever you are rewarming a patient, make sure to do so gradually. Unless the patient was in a very severe state of hypothermia, in which case core rewarming can be done. But for most cases, gradual rewarming with blankets is enough. Our ECG course contains all the changes that can occur in an ECG, and it helps you become an ECG expert, so that you can recognize any ECG that you might come across. The course contains everything that might affect an ECG, all the symptoms, the causes, and of course the treatments. It also has plenty of quizzes to test your knowledge and make sure that you cement these informations and be able to answer any question about an ECG. You can access the course using the link in the description or in the pinned comment.